Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this video, I will cover Learning Path 6 Manage Endpoint Security. I have already done a video on Deploy Device Data Protection. In this video, I will cover Manage Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and will do the rest of the modules videos which will be available on the channel. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe it and uh, hit the bell icon for latest updates. The module two is manage Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And the key topics covered in this module are exploring the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, examine the key capabilities of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, the different uh, Defender application services like application control, device guard, Defender application guard, Defender exploit guard, and Defender System Guard. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Without any further ado, let's get started. The Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is a security platform by Microsoft. It helps protecting the enterprise networks by preventing, detecting, investigating, and responding to advanced threats. It uses three key technologies for this. Number one, Endpoint behavioral sensors, which collect the data from devices to detect unusual activities or any threats. Number two is cloud security analytics. It analyzes the data into the cloud to identify potential security risks. Number three is threat intelligence. It uses the global threat data to stay ahead of the emerging security threats. You can manage and monitor everything through the Microsoft 365 Defender portal, which provides a central hub for security monitoring and response. The key capabilities of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint are number one, attack surface reduction, also referred as ASR. The attack surface reduction helps reducing the attack surface by blocking known malicious behaviors and preventing exploits, it minimizes the potential entry points for the attackers. Next is next generation protection. This involves the advanced security features like real-time antivirus protection, machine learning, and behavioral analysis to detect and block the sophisticated threats. Next is EDR, which is endpoint detection and response. The endpoint detection and response continuously monitors the devices for any suspicious activity and provides the tools needed to investigate and respond to the potential security incidents. Auto investigation and remediation is another capability. Microsoft Defender automatically investigates the potential threats and applies the fixes or any remediations to resolve these issues. Without any manual intervention, this saves time and the resources. Next is Secure Score. Secure Score provides a score and actionable insights for improving your organizational security posture. It highlights the areas where security can be enhanced based on your current configuration. Next is Advanced Hunting. This lets you query and search for specific security threats or any indicators across your environment. It uses the custom queries to detect and investigate issues more deeply. Next is management and APIs. Microsoft Defender offers decentralized management tools and the APIs for integrating and automating the security tasks. It allows you to customize security processes and workflows across your organization. If I talk about Windows Defender application control and the device guard, first let's talk about WDAC. The Windows Defender application control is a security feature that helps protect your Windows devices by ensuring that only trusted applications can run on them. Instead of assuming that all applications are safe, the WDAC enforces a trust model where the applications must prove their trustworthiness before they are allowed to execute. The trust 
requirements is one of the key factor the applications must be either digitally signed or include an acceptable manifest to be allowed to run on the system next is signed executables wdec ensures that only trusted signed executables can be executed this reduces the risk of running malicious or unapproved softwares manifest based trust is another point if an application has a manifest manifest is actually a file that outlines that applications metadata and the permissions it can also be trusted and allowed to run if meet security requirements in short the wdac prevents the untrusted applications from being running or requiring them to be signed or have an approved manifest this helps protecting systems from malwares or unauthorized softwares running on your systems next is device guard which is a security feature in windows that leverages the hypervisor the uh, virtual machine layer that we get to create virtual machines on top of hardware to protect the kernel mode processes from being tampered with any malicious software it ensures that only trusted code can run in the most sensitive areas of the operating system it helps to prevent advanced attacks that target the kernel the hypervisor enforced code integrity hvci is the key component of the device guard it checks and enforces the code integrity for kernel mode processes it requires the compatible hardware like the tpm and the virtualization support for this and signed drivers to function properly in short the device guard strengthens your system security by ensuring that only trusted softwares can run at the most privileged levels of the operating system it makes it much harder for attackers to exploit the vulnerabilities next is microsoft defender application guard this is a security feature which is designed to protect against both the old and newly emerging attacks especially when users are browsing the internet it helps to isolate potentially untrusted websites by running them in a secure and containerized environment the key features of the application guard are isolating the browsing so this allows the users that when they visit any untrusted or enterprise defined risky sites microsoft edge opens them in an isolated hyper v enabled container this container is separate from the host operating system this ensures that any potential threats from malicious websites cannot reach or affect the rest of the system this protects the, for the enterprise environments where application guard ensures that sensitive data and systems are protected while employees access potentially harmful websites preventing exploits from spreading to other parts of the network or the device in a nutshell the microsoft defender application guard isolates the untrusted sites or websites in a virtual container protecting the device from attacks and providing an additional layer of defense while browsing the internet next is windows defender exploit guard this is a uh, set of host intrusion prevention capabilities that are designed to protect the windows devices from various types of exploits and the attacks it provides the advanced protection by reducing the attack surface and preventing the exploits from running even if they are targeting the unpatched vulnerabilities the key features of this are exploit protection attack surface reduction network protection in terms of network protection it blocks the potentially harmful network traffic from reaching the device it prevents the malicious web content or downloads reaching the website reaching the device excuse me controlled folder access it prevents the unauthorized access to files and folders it protects the critical data from ransomware and other malicious activities in a nutshell microsoft defender exploit guard offers a layered approach for securing the devices from intrusions reducing vulnerabilities and helping prevent exploits 
from being successfully executed on the Windows systems. Next is Windows Defender System Guard. The Windows Defender System Guard is a set of security features in Windows that is designed to protect the integrity of the operating system and this prevents the attacks that target the boot process or the kernel. It is used to safeguard against the low-level persistent threats such as uh, attempting to temper the system components or bypassing the security protection. The key features of the Windows Defender System Guard are system integrity protection. The system guard works to ensure that the Windows kernel and critical system files remain secure from being tempered. Protect against root kits and boot kits by ensuring that the system boots only with trusted softwares. It is verified by the TPM. The system checks the integrity of the boot processes to confirm that only the signed and legitimate code is used. We have VBS, virtualized, virtualization based security. Uh, the virtualization based security VBS uses the hardware virtualization to create an isolated environment that protects the critical system processes and the data from being attacked. Hypervisor and Enforced Code Integrity HVCI, works to ensure that only trusted code runs in the kernel mode. We have hardware root of trust. The system guard integrates with the TPM, especially TPM 2.0 and secure boot to leverage the hardware based trust and protect against attacks that try to temper with the system at the firmware level. Provides the details uh, for uh, logging and reporting for security related events and it helps the administrator track suspicious activities especially when the boot process or the, or the early system startups are done. This is uh, the monitoring capability of the Windows Defender for System Guard and uh, Actually, this provides several benefits, be it uh, prevent, preventing the attacks before the operating system loads, reducing the exploitation risks, and support for a secure foundation. By using the hardware-based protection, Windows Defender System Guard provides a strong foundation to the overall system security. It makes it harder for advanced threats to compromise the device. This brings to the end of this module. 